We're going to make a vinaigrette for this. Do you have a question? Oh, you can't raise your hand. It's like an auction. You immediately get called on. OK, vinaigrette. Now, we're making a lemon vinaigrette. And how do you do that? Well, whenever you're making a vinaigrette with citrus juices, you might think, just put some lemon juice in there as opposed to vinegar. Put some oil, maybe some other things in there, and blend it up. But that, that vinaigrette is going to be very loose. The, uh, the lemon juice is just going to sort of seep out of the vinaigrette. And you're just going to have like lemon and oil cut. And that would be fine. But we want real body to this vinaigrette. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the lemon juice and a couple other ingredients. We have some shallots and some garlic and a little bit of honey. OK, so we're going to take lemon juice. Now, if you, if, you're making, if you were making an orange vinaigrette, you would do the same thing. Into a saucepan, hot. Put the shallots and the garlic for flavor, obviously. Okay, and a little bit of honey. And this is going to help form a syrup. You're going to reduce this down. Does everybody know what the word reduce means in cooking? You bring it to a boil, and you let it cook down. It concentrates the flavor, and it concentra concentrates the volume of it. Bring it to a boil, and let this go down, and it's going to be very intense. As a matter of fact, it's going to look like this. That amount of lemon juice is going to look like this. So you can imagine, when you taste it, it's incredibly Citrusy. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's what you want. You want that. So we're going to take this base for the vinaigrette. OK, we're going to make a vinaigrette in a blender. Does everybody here make their vinaigrettes in blenders now? Nobody. They're not just for pina coladas. <laughs> vinaigrettes are great in blenders because they emulsify. You get that. The, the air whipping from the blades, and it you know it keeps it solid. There's, it doesn't separate, and it looks like you actually put some cream in it or something. But in fact, it's just the air. Do we have uh, some oil? All right. So we're going to blend up the base of this on this puree, liquefied. Okay. We're going to slowly add the olive oil, and this is going to. Emulsify and caramelize are the two buzzwords of the weekend. We're going to emulsify the vinaigrette. How are you doing? Are onions OK? How's the octopus? OK. All right, so the vinaigrette's done. And the, and the idea is to really get all the components done you know, ahead of time, and then you can put the dish together at the end. Here's the key. You want to take the vinaigrette. You see how creamy it looks? You want to take the vinaigrette and put it over the octopus as soon as it comes off the grill. Because as soon as it hits the, the hot octopus, you're going to smell the aroma of the lemon and the basil throughout the, throughout the house. And that's what you want. And then also, the octopus is still porous because it's still warm and it's going <laughs> to. You know what I'm saying? It's going gonna, it's gonna to take, uh, take the vinaigrette right into it. <laughs> 